hi friends in this video i would like to show you about multiple worksheets you know if you have a big workbook and you have multiple worksheets and uh, you would like to uh, when there are a lot of sheets no more than 10 12 20 or 50 sheets and this sh sheets you have to add something or you want to remove you have to edit something you know if you want to do in this sheet it also it has to have an impact on the other sheet also uh, but you can do it, you know, one by one and it's going to be time consuming, you know, it's going to be a lengthy process. So the best thing you can do is you can uh, do in all the sheets, but respectively, you should have all the sheets in the same manner, in the same pattern. You know, you can see this all, it's at five columns and all the, sh all the different sheets should have the same thing, you know, the same manner, in the same pattern and that will be feasible. Or you can select the separate if you have some sheets you know five sheets in this pattern and another five to six sheets in another pattern you can hold uh, control and you can select the number of sheets and you can do the changes and it will be affected on the sheets which you control and if you want to do for the, all the sheets also you can control and you can see see you can see this uh, you can see it's ungrouped sheets and you can select all sheets right click and select all sheets and if you don't have to select all sheets, you can uh, have a, a set of sheets which are having the same pattern you can select one two or three or whatever it is it depends on the pattern and the range and the data you want so let me show you if i want to change the if i want to add a total column here in all these three sheets and i i don't want to do it one by one i don't want to add total over here and uh, total over here and do the and do the this was just it's totally over here but it's not going to be highlighted over here so so i don't want to do one in a single one i want to do in all the three sheets so the best thing i can do is you know select all the sheets and if you select all the sheets, you can see the sheets have been you can ungroup and select and right click or you can select as i said you uh, one by one if you hold, click here and click the boss button here and click control and and control and then if you want to make these changes you have to do the total just write it total okay let me spell it right t o t a l total okay so uh once this is done we put an enter and uh, for the total you can see that if you want to make a total there is different ways you know if you want you can use equal to or the sum formula if i will show you the both you know you can put o equal to and select the cell over here and plus uh, sorry and hit plus add button and select this one and again select this and do as this and enter so this is one of the way or if you are good in formulas you know you, you can do that also so, so now if i click down all the totals are there and the other one is even if you have to do it with formulas you know just you can do click you can do sum and if you have the bracket over here and then you can select the cell data over here and again c3 to c2 to 3 e2 and enter so that is also f possible you know you can just click it down and see the data all the things have been changed you know and you can check in the other one also this is this is for the cell number one you can select sec you can check on the other one see it, the data is changed over here and the data is changed on here also so now it has been ungrouped you can see this has been grouped and now this has been ungrouped but be careful when you put it down see it will go to the data till it's required you know more than required so you can remove it manually or you can do the selective data so this is the one of the easy way to to apply the things on the all the cells you know if you want to have a highlight over here you can do that you select you can highlight yellow color and just to ungroup all and you can see this has been highlighted the area See, you can see that it has been highlighted in yellow so when we do this, you have to be very careful the data should be in the same manner and what you select and deselect it should be very very profound so i would hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video if you like the video please click on the like button and share my video thank you very much